when you are on a CV, you go to office, sorry, and uh, we do it for a living, and it's working. So I'll talk about uh, I'll talk about CVs and uh, how I came. I'll not go into so much because uh, time is on the other side also. So basically, a CV a CV is a marketing tool for you when you are looking for a job. Right? Hakuna job yenye na unaweza pata bila CV simo unless you are unless it's your parent giving you that job. So every other job is about CV. So when you are looking for a job, there's no shortcut. Unless you make yandika, hakuna shortcut, lazima upiki pata CV so that you get a job. And every day, every year, there's there are people getting out of jobs. Wal kuna wale wana food kuna wale contract tunaisha there are you graduates who are getting out of universities every year. So the job market in a flooded. And when the job market is flooded, you have to do something that is very, very unique so that you get uh, above others. And getting above others means that you have to have a good CV. An employer calls you for an interview because of your CV. Employer na kuita sababu ameona CV yako but is not seen you. So your CV is a very key part. It's the very, it's a very it takes ninety percent of your job site success. So because it enables you get an interview. So uh, a basic CV has uh, four five parts. A basic CV has five parts whereby uh, whereby we have. Um, I've also trained in, uh, this, is, this is the ninth university I'm training about CVs. Uh, Nairobi I trained near University Zote. Uh, last week we were with them in Kisi University. And uh, it's a pleasure being here as well. So a CV, CV, CV. A CV, a uh, basic CV has five parts. With the, the first one being introduction, introduction, the introduction part. Whereby you do your name, we have your name and contact details. So when you have your name, you have the official names uh, like Walemba J. Uh, telephone number. Uh, if you have an address number, you can add your address number. Address. Then you do. You go. You do your uh, telephone number email address. So when it comes to email address, that's where we go wrong. We go to Nandika email address and you see professional, nice baby, the Taliban, <laughs> such things. Eh? They are not professional and any employer will not see you as a serious candidate. So make sure you are doing official names. Like for me, Walemba J, my email is jwalemba at gmail.com. So make, make sure that you are doing at least the two, two Two, at least two initials from uh, one initial and uh, one name of yours is on, the, on your email. It's better to to meet in a tattoo email address so that you make it so official. Then the second part is the career professional summary. This is uh, the part that summarizes about your career, your aspirations, and what you are really, really looking for. It's, it should be so intentional that any employer looking at it knows that this person is looking for a position in this, in, in this organization to, to do ABC. You talk about it and tell, about, tell them about your strength and why you're really interested in that position. Then the third part is the core skills or competences. These are the technical skills that you gain from, for, from your career, from your job. Are from your responsibilities. So the technical, kuna technical skills na kuna soft skills. Soft skills that are those skills that anyone in any profession akonaya, accountant, nurse, uh, HR, procurement officer, they have the same skills. Soft skills ni iso. The technical skills are those skills that you gain from uh, the roles you handle in that position. If you are a HR, kuna ile Unafanya recruitment. Kuna HR sapa? Wala unafanya HR? Hai, kumbe ni mmoja tu. Ukimaliza ukuja ni kipa internship. So, uh, for those that are 
if you are in HR, if you are doing recruitment and selection, is that is a skill. If you are in accounting, if you do reports, financial reporting is a technical skill. If you are in procurement, if you are doing tenders, tender management is a technical skill. If you are in medicine, you attend to emergencies, emergency response is a technical skill. So technical skills, nile skills, and lazima ukuwe ni on job, ufanye on job, you gain those technical skills. The soft skills you gain them from, you can gain them from training, you can also gain them from uh, uh, the theoretical part, but the technical skills, lazima ukuwe na hands-on experience, hands experience, you always have technical skills. So every profession is on a different technical skills. Then you have the academic qualifications and the work experience. Academic qualification, academic and professional qualifications. So the academic qualifications is what, what you're doing now, the high school and primary. The professional qualifications is about the professional bodies. I heard someone talk about ISPA, Kuna Kisim, for HR, Kuna CHRP. Those are the academic and the professional bodies. So the professional qualifications, you add them there. So if you have no professional qualification, like you do, you're not doing CPA, you're not doing C CIPS, or CYK upper professional, you just do academic qualifications. Then you can do your degree or diploma plus your high school education. Those two, CYK primary education. So when you go to work experience, work experience now determines, uh, is uh, done depending on what you currently doing or what you previously done. I know most of you will ask me about Timekwa uh, Shule, we had no, no official work experience. That is not the case. Any work experience like the school leaders, student leaders, that is work experience. Ulkwa Prefect Primary School, that's work experience. Umekua, umekua church leader uko nyumbani, that's work experience. So have it on your CV, because that work experience helps you gain skills. Sibo. We were student leader, we were prefect primary on again leadership skills. Simo. Then you also uh, get uh, skills in terms of uh, planning and organizing. Also, you can do scheduling. So you gain skills in uh, when you are. You, you also gain interpersonal skills in that category. You can also gain skills uh, to do with reporting, report writing. So uh, I believe. But all of you have been involved in one thing or another, apart from being student leaders or apart from having gone for attachment. So at least your CV should have some information that will show, uh, that will give us some skills, some technical skills. So from there you go to, so you, when, when you're doing, when you, at the work experience, you do the date, uh, the month and the year you started, then the month and the year you ended. Then, uh, you go to the company, the position, <coughs> and then the duties and responsibilities. But uh, of late, we are preferring people who, with achievements because uh, we read, every employer is looking for someone who can solve problems. So under problem solver must have achieved something. Solving problems. Employer order and after them solve problems. You don't just want you to come and be a you are not helping the company save costs, you are not helping the company increase their sales. So employers are looking for problem solvers. So by being a problem solver, a good CV should have your achievements. You are a problem solver, Missouri. So part of our responsibilities, because you might not have so many, so many achievements, you can do your achievements, then just after that you can do your uh, you can do your responsibilities, then after the responsibilities, you can do your achievements. But make sure at least you have an achievement. For student leaders, I know this function was uh, successful because of you. So if you're a student leader and you took part in, doing, in organizing this event, that's an achievement you made. So you can talk about, in your CV, you can talk about, uh, I was part of the team that organized the, the, a successful career fair with corporate, career academy and the, the other partners. So that's an achievement for your student, lead, for your student leader, or any person manye, or the committee that organized this. So, achievement see kitu lazima uko mefanya kitu kubwa. Just these little things. It depends with how you, you phrase them on your CV. 
Then uh, we have the referees part on your CV. The referees, uh, for so many of you mess uh, when it comes to referees, when you are going to lecturers, or you write your church leader back at home, and you've never talked to him, Boro na mjua jina na unamba mama na mbake. So na mweka kwa simu. Hata kipikuwa simu, they don't know you. It's so sad. We need to work on our referees well. So when you are, when you are doing referees, if it's a lecturer you are writing, make sure you have personal touch with that lecturer. Mtu mwenye kipikiwa simu akiulizwa jayi nani, he knows who jayi is. Siyetu ilimongelesha maramoja ukingia ingia first year, then you are writing him as a lecturer after fourth year. Ata kukumbuka. So make sure your referees are people you can always relate with. You can use your student leaders as uh, your referees, then have lecturer come later. A referee, most companies will want people who are directly supervised you as your referees. So make sure if you have you've been employed or you've done attachment uh, at company A, Make sure your immediate supervisor at company A is your first referee for Sibiaco because it's the person who is going to recommend you. For companies that, uh, when you go for attachment, I see companies do recommendation letters. If they are doing recommendation letters, if the HR is the person who's done that recommendation letter, have the rep, the HR as the first person on your CV, on, the, on your CV as the referee, and make sure kuna kuna mjua. Be approaching a HR ule mwenye anapatikia barua telling him thank you sir thank you madam will make will will go will uh, will have a great impact on your CV that HR will not will never forget you so make sure you're doing that then uh, we have those people who do photos and uh, hobbies in their CV it's allowed in some cases if you are someone dealing with things to do with the uh, modeling uh, like uh, uh, what we just seen. Models are allowed to do that. If that is what they are looking at, that is their career path. They are allowed to have their photos on their CVs. If you are an accountant, you don't want your photo on your CV. <laughs> <laughs> if, you are, if you are doing uh, things to do with graphic design, you can have your photo on your CV. So there are those careers that people will need to see your face before they can maybe consider hiring you. So yeah, always consider if that is your line, you can have your photo. But for other professions, HR, the official professions, don't have your CV, your photos on your CV. 